So here is a, a fun NLP technique for, for kids. And if you look on the blog, um, there's also some techniques for kids and I'll be adding more in the future because my former students have been asking for it. And one of the reasons why I don't have many videos or NLP blogs um, about kids is because I don't have children myself. I, I never wanted them. Though it is true, I have trained parents from around the world. And I've also worked with children. So um, I, the, the only thing that I can do is give you, um, in these types of videos and blogs, I can give you um, an NLP technique or a piece of science. But of course, I can't speak uh, from personal uh, experience of parenting, um, but I am an aunt. And one really cool exercise to do that you could use you for different reasons. L let's just say, um, your child or your niece or nephew or child in your world has a, has a hard time. They're, they're maybe a little bit afraid or they're maybe a little bit um, nervous or a little bit uh, frustrated. It's not for really de deep, intense phobias or something like that. It's not what this is for. But, but they could use, let's say, a, a little bit more of a, of a powerful state. And um, a thing that you could do is, is what I call building a hologram. And there's two choices. You can build a hologram of the best version of yourself, or you can even build a hologram of a superhero of some kind. Now, so what you do is you let the child use their imagination. And to build a hologram of, let's say, their best selves, their most powerful selves in front of them. What would they look like? You know, what would they be wearing? I mean, is, is this is a secret exercise and nobody will know that they're doing it and they're using this special secret technique. Is what would you be wearing? Would you be wearing a cape? Would you be wearing uh, maybe the, the, the lightsaber from, from Star Wars? Would there be something else? And, uh, or, or wear a beautiful dress. Um, and, and so what would you look like when you are hugely confident and powerful? Would there be any objects inside your hand? But what would your face look, look like? And what would your body posture look like? And, and what would your voice sound like? And what kind of words would you be using? And, and so you build this entire hologram in front of the child where the child is experiencing inside the hologram this hugely positive emotion and sees all these clothes and this cape and the cloak and the whatever. And, and, and sort of like a really powerful hologram of themselves. And when you truly build that up, and especially with very young children, just make this fun and then let them step into the hologram of themselves of themselves so they can feel this, this emotion kind of coming through and, and then really stepping into another more powerful version of themselves.